Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and today's video is another FRP bypass method for Samsung devices, and realistically this should work for many more devices than just Samsung. This also shows how to get around if you get the update screen on the YouTube app, so you can't move forward with the FRP bypass. You need to basically use another phone that allows you to hotspot, connect to Wi-Fi, and then be able to disconnect from Wi-Fi. So we're going to go through the FRP bypass right now and learn how it works. So it should go to the video. There it goes. So right here we have an SMT500 Android tablet. As you can see, I'm connected to the hotspot, which is connected to Wi-Fi. The hotspot does not have mobile data. That makes this a ton easier. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you guys that it is indeed FRP locked and it is also stuck on the uh, update screen for YouTube so you cannot get around the FRP that way so it's really not gonna let me in um, as you can see I'm using that tool Sam firm that I made a video on um, a little while ago I would have done screen recording but when I'm at work doing these video recordings I uh, tend to just do it this way because it's easier so I had to actually disconnect the tablet from here and reconnect it because the computer wasn't finding it sometimes you'll have to do that you want to basically find the uh, tablet model when you hit scan so as you'll see it'll say SMT 500 for the actual tablet model and then you click the auto bypass button that's going to send the pop-up to the device you can hit uh, view and that opens up the YouTube app and that's going to show the update screen now right here I accidentally stopped recording so it's going to look like there's a cut in the video basically what you need to do is turn off the tablet and go to uh, the recovery menu and factory reset it because that way you're deleting the cached data for the fact that it knows that the YouTube app needs updated. So you want to reconnect to your uh, hotspot and you want to have it ready to be able to disconnect. So once you have the pop-up on your screen, you basically want to disconnect from the Wi-Fi on the hotspot device. That way you are actually allowed to go through and uh, bypass that update screen because if it can't detect it, it's just going to load the YouTube app as it is. So we're going to do the auto method again. Auto method number one just doesn't work. I don't know why it's even in that software. I'm actually working on my own software for this as well because all these other ones like Sam Firm and Sam FRP all come with really shady uh, virus pop-ups. I had an issue getting the pop-up to show up there. I'm not, I never did figure out what the problem was. I just disconnected and reconnected. Sometimes you'll have to do that. I am getting a Snapchat. So we're going to do the auto bypass method on Sam Firm. It's going to give me the pop-up. If you tap anywhere on the screen, so as you can see, I disconnect the Wi-Fi and I hit view. If you tap anywhere on the screen while you're waiting for that pop-up, at the same time as that pop-up, you're actually going to cause an issue with the pop-up not coming up. So I think that's what the issue was. But as you can see, reconnect to the Wi-Fi once the YouTube app starts trying to load the actual video page. I go to my own personal website here. I might make these links public so anybody can access them because realistically there's nothing special about these and you can find them elsewhere. You want to go to the Google uh, or the Galaxy App Store. You want to allow it to update. I never figured out what this page was. It didn't load anything but you want to allow it to update. It's going to close the Galaxy App Store. I don't know why this one took telling it twice to update to actually update. And then the Wi-Fi for us at work today was just excruciatingly slow. So I paused it during uh, some sections that were going to basically take a while. Like as you can see, normally the speed of our Wi-Fi at work is just insane. And it jumps multiple megabytes per second like it is doing here. So some points today like I tried to download a two megabyte app 
uh, which you'll see here in a second actually, the hidden settings app. It took no joke 10 minutes. No idea why. But you can see the Galaxy App Store is opening up. And I was waiting for a, an advertisement pop up. One didn't come up, sometimes one does. Wait for the store to completely load, or else you're just going to have a really bad time. But as you can see, we searched the term hidden settings. Samsung has already removed one app from the Galaxy App Store that allowed this to work. So I would not be surprised if this app eventually disappears. <laughs> Do you like my email name and password? Or uh, email name and actual email? FRP bypass and FRP at whatever dot uh, ONL. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, our internet just dog crap today. So I ended up just pausing the video to try to get it to download uh, another way. I think it was because of the mobile hotspot, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Did get it to download eventually, though. No joke, this was like 15 minutes later. You want to search the word generic. That's the best way I've found because there's multiple options. You want to simply tap that, put in a pattern code. So I don't know why I clicked device app, uh, require app power on. I have seen some devices that don't work unless you click that option. So I kind of just tap it if it asks. If it doesn't ask, then no biggie, you know? But it is whatever. So this is where it asks on boot. So I had to unpause just for a second. You like my $5 phone case from uh, eBay? And how dirty this tablet is? Isn't it amazing? Anyway, so it's going through. I think I paused it again just to whatever so you want to go through the setup again I probably should have changed the Wi-Fi that I was connected to you don't need to stay on the hotspot once you add your uh, pattern your custom one for bypassing this doesn't work on like Galaxy S 21s s 20s um, some newer s6 tablets some s7 tablets I doubt it'll work on the s8 tablet Samsung has gotten smart and even if the pin and passcode are put in correctly, it will still require your Gmail account, just like a Motorola device, to get into the tablet. So there's no removing FRP from those tablets yet without it being a remote method, which I do plan on learning. I feel like it's not very hard compared to iCloud, which I'm close. I have an understanding of how it works, but I don't want to make it public because a lot of people will get angry. All I know is it uses the app Fiddler. But we're pretty much done, and I go in and I show you that I can remove the passcode, I can delete my Samsung account off the device, and the FRP is fully removed from this device. So it's now possible to resell it without that customer account. And before people think that I'm doing this on stolen devices, these were return devices to like Amazon or Target or something like that. I don't do these on stolen devices, but it's very easy to get around this stuff. It's not like iCloud at all. So anyway, thanks for watching. Figure I should say where you can actually find me if you want to contact me. I'm on, uh, well, all my info is in the description, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, my uh, actual website techx.onl you can find me pretty much anywhere if you want to contact me discord is going to be the easiest peace out guys